This is Ephesians 1, 7 through 10, and I can't even make sense of it because it's so dense unless I take it in little small pieces, and I mean small. So let's just start here. It says, in him we have. When we see the phrase we have, that creates curiosity. If someone comes to you and says, you have a package for you in the lobby, or someone gave something to you, you go, hmm, what do I have? And where is it? And the Bible is telling us that we have something in Christ that this hymn refers to the previous paragraph. We have something in Christ that we didn't know that we had, and we should be asking, okay, what is it that we have? And then it uses some language that may not be familiar at first. It says, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses. And these four words are huge words in the Christian vocabulary, and they fit together like puzzle pieces. And if we don't understand the big story of how they fit together, then this will not land as good news. We'll just kind of go, huh, I think it's supposed to be good news, but I don't see precisely how it works. And the beginning of the Bible makes it clear. It says that God, in the beginning, created the heavens and the earth. And God created humanity for a perfect connection with him. The only request was, the only requirement was that there is a no trespassing sign that humanity should not go past metaphorically. Why? Not because God just wanted to create a rule, but because God cared about our welfare and knew that if humanity went past it, we would actually die. So in a loving act of self-preservation, God says, I want you to stay right here with me because I want you to flourish. I want you to experience security and quality of life and all of my goodness because these are my gifts. And of course, humanity decides to say, no thanks, and walks away. And instead of experiencing God's flourishing, commits, this is the very nature of what it means to commit a trespass. And so this is what humanity does when we walk away from God. And even worse, there's not just the the trespass itself as an offense against God, but just as warned, our quality of life is now reduced. We have imprisoned ourselves not only by the trespass itself, But now the consequences of it, we live in a broken world that is now, worst of all, whether this is noticed or not, is separated from God horribly by our own action. And this is the problem that preexisted any of our births who are alive today and yet still affects us. And it says here that God decided to do something about this. It says he decided to redeem us. To redeem is to buy back. To redeem is to purchase out of a situation into another to free us from our our estate from where we were and to forgive to forgive is to erase a wrongdoing so god decides that hey i'm going to forgive the fact that you walked away from me it's going to be gone it's going to be gone like it was never even there and it says how did he do this he did it through the blood of christ now this is important you go why Because as the trespasser, it should have been our blood. But God decides not to do that, not to punish us, but to punish a substitute and to use the blood of a substitute as a bridge so that the very thing that was separating us from him could now act um, as a way back so that we could be in relationship with him once again. And when you see this, you start to uh, see the rest of this paragraph take shape. You go, oh, we didn't deserve this. This was all because of his grace. He lavished this upon us. And even more amazing, this was something he did wisely. This wasn't a reckless choice. This was always his purpose. This was always his will. This was always his plan for all time to unite all things in him. This is the, we're looking here at the big story of the universe, to unite all things in Christ, ultimately in the fullness of time, things in heaven and things on earth. So we see that the cross of Christ is so central, not just because it saves individuals and brings people back as individuals into a relationship with God, but because the cross is the way God is going to redeem once again the entire world. 